We hit the pitch at Nequa Valley as DVC rival Naperville Central comes to town. The Wildcats lost a close one last time these two teams faced off, falling 1-0 as they are out for revenge on this sunny afternoon. Naperville Central with the corner kick in the 22nd minute of play. Ella Burke goes for the header, but the ball goes a little too wide and the scoreboard stays empty. 28th minute of action now in Central's Molly O'Rear, full speed ahead towards Nequa's netminder Tara Tesman. An O'Rear shot finds the hands of Tesman, and that keeps Central off the board. 36th minute of action right before the break. Nequa's Abby Michaelzik looking to clean up a rebound, but her shot just rolls wide of the net, and we go into the half scoreless. Opening minutes of the second half, and there goes O'Rear again streaking down the sideline. She gets close, but Tesman slides in and denies the effort. A couple of goose eggs still on the board. 51st minute now, and Nequa's Caitlin Narduli from way out just takes aim, and it goes right over Trinity Stang for the Wildcats to break the stalemate. It's 1-0 Wildcats. It doesn't take long for Central to retaliate, though. Four minutes later, Central with the corner kick, and O'Rear finally finds success with the use of her head. 66th minute and Central looking to break the tie, but Tesman swallows up the effort. And after two 10-minute overtimes, the score stays the same and this one ends in a 1-1 tie. Yeah, for sure. I mean, first half we came out a little slow. That's that's <laughs> totally true. I think for all of us, we're just it was bus legs from our 12-minute bus ride. But um, I think in the second half, our midfield really, really stepped it up. I mean, Megan Norkit had a couple of amazing drives. Our defense was amazing, our two center backs, and they just got our, the forwards the ball, and that was the return for us. Well, based on our last game, it was a really close game. We we played a, a really hard game, and it was only 1-0, to zero, so it was really close last time we played them. So we kind of knew that like we could get something in this game and that this was a game that we had the potential to just like go off in. And I think that we had a really strong warm-up. That's a huge part of it. We work really hard in our warm-up, and we try to translate that into the game. And I think that we did a really good job of it today. This is the best that we've played all season, and I'm really proud of what we did today. We just kind of have like this like killer mentality before the game. Like we just we're out to get them. Like they're a team that we would love to beat. Like yeah, for sure. I mean, we have great leadership. Our seniors are amazing. Um, they all stepped up. Told all the juniors that haven't played before on varsity, they're like, we're gonna help you out. Don't worry, just follow our lead. They've done an amazing job, and just us following in their footsteps, I think, is really a good idea. And it's just been a great team atmosphere. I couldn't be more proud of this team. As a goalkeeper, it is like just so important for me to vocalize everything that I see because I am the eyes of the field. I'm in the very last position, so I can see everything where like they don't know what's behind them. Sometimes they don't know what's around them, but I can see it. So I want to help my teammates as best as I can, let them know what's around them so that we can perform the best we can. You know, if they can't see a runner coming in and I can, I'm always going to tell them, get on that runner, get on that runner so that we can put out our best performance. I think we did a really good job of that today and they really listened today, which was really <laughs> helpful.